I'm Joanne, welcome to my channel. This is the place for parents and kids who wanna worry less and grow more. I'm a writer, I'm a teacher, and I'm a mom, and I'm here to make kid life just a little bit easier for you. Let's talk about your brain. Now, how much do you know about it? I didn't know about it at your age either. All my dad told me is that age seven is the age of reason, and you don't get married because before you're 25 because your brain isn't fully developed yet. So on my seventh birthday, I thought, okay, well, what happens now? That's the age of reason. And it's not such a spoiler because you might already be past seven, but nothing. Nothing happened. I'm not gonna tell you that the exact age makes a difference. Your exact age does not make you any more or less mature than someone a year older or younger than you. What does help is thinking of your brain like a two-story house. Now here's what you need to know. You have a downstairs brain and an upstairs brain. Downstairs brain, upstairs brain. Okay, sounds confusing, but stay with me. So did you know that different parts of your brain control different things you do? We're gonna talk about a couple of those parts right now. There are tons, but we're only gonna focus on a few. And please don't let these unfamiliar words scare you. You don't need to know them or even be able to pronounce these names to understand how they work. Now, here's what you do need to understand. Different parts of your brains do different things different parts of your brain rather, do different things. That's all I want you to take away from this. So here we go. Now down here we have our limbic system. You know how you watch an animal like a cat and you see how they eat, how they sleep, how they run from danger? That's all controlled in the limbic system, in your downstairs brain. When you get overwhelmed and you wanna scream at your parents or maybe even hit your sister, I'm guilty of that. That's your limbic system taking over, your animal instincts. Now, your amygdala is also down here in your downstairs brain. That's the part of your brain that senses danger and makes you either spring into action or run away. It's our fight or flight response. Your downstairs brain is fully formed right from the second you're born. But your upstairs brain up there, it's not. This is where your decision making happens. The part of your brain helps you calm down, tell you what's wrong, and what's okay. It's called your cerebral cortex. It's important. Think of your upstairs brain like a very empty attic that you're trying to turn into a comfortable and cozy bedroom. You're adding a bed here and a chair there, but it's not quite where you want it. That's what your decision making is like now. This is why kids need their parents until they're like 18 or so. Humans don't know how to completely survive in the world until their decision making is at full power, until their upstairs brain is a comfortable room or at least most of the way there. Now, don't fret, you can still do a lot with what you have. Think of stairs going from your downstairs brain to your upstairs brain. They're not the best stairs. They're missing steps. They may even be missing the banister. But the stronger we can make those stairs, the better you'll be able to understand your emotions and control your reactions to things. We want your upstairs brain and downstairs brain to talk the best they can. Those stairs let your upstairs brain stomp down and yell to your downstairs brain, quiet down there, everything is okay. Okay, maybe not yelling. Think of it more as coming downstairs to calm your cat or your dog who's shaking from fear. Petting it and saying, you're okay, everything is going to be fine. Building those stairs is going to help you calm down more easily. Now, hey, if you like this, leave a comment below telling me what you learned and click the thumbs up. Plus, if you wanna go more into depth about emotions and self-talk and know how to build those stairs, be sure to check out the course for kids I have called Emotions 911. It teaches you how to notice your emotions and solve problems with friends and siblings. And that's it for now. I will see you in the comments.